Hey everyone, it's Brother Brett Potts with another episode of Pray for Japan. Today's episode is going to be the Yamaguchi Prefecture. So Yamaguchi Prefecture has a population of 1,377,631 souls. It has three villages that have no churches whatsoever. And our missionary population, the ratio is 1 to every 86,102 souls. Yamaguchi is an interesting prefecture, and this prefecture actually had a considerable amount of interest from the Chinese in the earlier part of the Japanese history. It has a lot of old customs and traditions. The Yamaguchi prefecture is very traditional and is very in Japanese uh, customs and Japanese national traditions. However, there seems to be about an average interest in religion. Um, compared to the rest of Japan, which is very interested in the Shinto and the Buddhism, uh, Eastern religions, uh, Yamaguchi Prefecture seems to be just about there. However, there is a very increasing interest in the uh, spiritual world, things that have to do with this, the, the spiritual nature, things that have to do with uh, God or nature or those types of things in the Yamaguchi Prefecture. Kamino Channel separates Yamaguchi from the rest of the Kyushu Islands. So Yamaguchi Prefecture is known for this channel. The first thing that we're going to pray for in our prayer video today is the reopening of the nation of Japan. We want to pray that God's spirit would move upon it, that God would have his way in the Yamaguchi Prefecture, and that his spirit would continue to move and touch in these last days to open up the prefecture for the gospel's sake. The second thing we want to pray for is our hospitals, our jails, schools, nursing homes. Uh, we want to pray for military, American, and the Japanese Defense Force that God would just touch and move on these institutions and move on these services, that they would just have an end road into ministry there and to be able to meet the needs of the people there. We also wanna pray for the unchurched regions in the Yamaguchi prefecture. Uh, a lot of the villages in Yamaguchi have no churches or gospel representation. So we wanna pray for that, especially. We wanna pray for church growth and we wanna pray that God would just continue to grow the churches in the Yamaguchi prefecture. Lastly, we want to pray for our deputation. Our deputation has kicked off and we are just very happy to uh, be back on the road and hopefully have some services coming up with churches and some support coming in. We just want the Lord to bless the projects that we are uh, trying to go forth and um, do in order to get back to the field. The Lord has blessed us with a uh, vehicle for transportation in order to deputize and we just want to thank the Lord for that testimony and just uh, pray that God would bless it and bless the vehicle and protect us around it as we're on the road traveling to help raise funds to get back to the nation of Japan. Even during this time, the gospel still needs to be heard in the nation of Japan. And that's what we're trying to do is to get back there and help facilitate in the nation of Japan. Also pray for our education in the language of Japanese. It is extremely crucial for us to learn the language and be able to speak it to a level of fluency to be able to impact the Japanese with the gospel. This was the Yamaguchi Prefecture. Our next video series, we are going into the Shikoku area. So next we're headed to the Shikoku area. And thank you guys for joining us. Uh, as always, like, share, uh, get the word out there, let people know that there are great things going on in the nation in Japan. Thank you and God bless.